of the Ghana Free Zones Authority's role, not only as a regulator, but also as a facilitator, ensuring that we all work together to yield maximum returns. Nevertheless, as a gentle reminder to our partners, some companies have not yet submitted their quarterly returns, some are indeed quite late, and also with regard to the audited financial statements. This lack of submission of quarterly returns is affecting the authority's accurate data for management reporting and decision making. Some of the companies also owe some rent in terms of ground rent, not renew their licenses, and we just wish to use this forum as a reminder to ensure that these anomalies are corrected in the ensuing year so as to enhance our ability to be able to be of greater service to all of you. Government agencies are not to be seen as barriers, but rather we are facilitators. The board members and chief executive of the Ghana Free Zones Authority and following the advice of our chief executive I stand on the existing protocol to extend a very warm welcome to all of you very distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to start first by commending the board and management of the Ghana Freedoms Authority for successfully organizing this investment week. I say so an individual who is committed to changing the course within the trade. This year's celebration will not have come at a more opportune time, particularly against the backdrop of the combined effects of the COVID pandemic and also the Ukraine Russia war, which indeed has. To the Magdan group, we say a big thank you to Cargill. We're excited about our own. So, if there was ever a time in our country that the need of investment has been put at the center of our development agenda, I believe that the time is now. And if we are going to put investments at the center of our development agenda, then we need to appreciate the fact that we cannot continue relying only on access to international capital markets, but we have to think seriously also about how we aggressively promote private direct investment be it domestic or foreign. I think one of the lessons that we be learning from our current situation is not to be